guys, it's Alex from Alex's Creative Corner here. This is the part two out of three for Tamarin's tutorial. It's the first mini dragon in the series, or in the mini Wings of Fire dragon series. Uh, so what you should have at the beginning of this tutorial are the parts that we made from part one, which are the head and neck, the wings, the front legs, front legs and the back legs and in this portion this video we will be making the body so first I will um, tell you what I did here so double looping a uh, ocean blue opaque band right there and then right there and then now I'm going with two ocean blue opaques um, Two diagonal like that, two like that, and then going down once on this side, once on this side, diagonally inwards with two from here and then two from here, and then going with two all the way down. So that's nine times down each side. And then the middle right here, two yellows at a time, go all the way down, that's eight times. And now for the Holding bands, double looping an opaque ocean blue um, across those two, those three, there, 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 there. So just as you can see it. And now we're gonna get ready to attach uh, some, like, attach some things. So we're gonna start out with the head. It is, this part might be a little bit tricky, but just ignore it. You'll get through it. So go into your neck, go through the side set, and make sure that the horns and everything are facing up. Go through the side set, make sure you go through all four loops. Now you can, well, you have to take off the tying band and attach it onto this peg. I'm gonna do the same thing with the other two ends on these two pegs. So go through the middle set. All four loops, taking off the tying band and attach it onto that peg. Now go through this final side set, taking off the tying band and putting it onto that peg. Um, oh, sorry. Um, one second. My cat was trying to get out of my room. Um, so, you can either use a holding hook for this or just your normal hook, um, but it, you need to have two. So you can just use a pencil, toothpick, something like that for this part. Um, I have a, a holding hook, so I'm just going to do that, lifting up the top two bands from right here that we just attached. Top two from the middle and then the top two from this other side set, so they're all on your hook or your toothpick or whatever you're using and I'm going to take a double looped um, ocean blue opaque across those three and now I'm going to take my front legs so put them so it's like this they have to be they have to look like this so they have the thumb the blue toe facing down and then these spots facing up and forward so I'm going to attach this one right here, go through this first set, it's the one that has the spot on it, and I'm going to attach it onto this first peg. And now with the second set, I'm attaching it onto this peg. So it's like that. I'm going to do the exact same thing on this other side, going through this first set. Taking off the tying band, putting it onto this peg, going through the second set, taking off the tying band, okay, I'm just going to take it off, I don't know, um, and I'm going to put it onto this peg like that, and now I'm going to so my hook with these loops on it, the first two loops that we took from this peg, 
replaced them. The two yellow that came from the middle and these two blue that came from the side. So here's this front part. Now I am going to start to loom up the center. First you need to make some spikes just like the ones that we made on the neck with that little twisty thing that we did on the loom. You know, um, you need to make 25 more. And as we loom down the middle, I'm going to be attaching them. So just follow me. Loom up, slide on, loom over. Loom up, slide on, loom over. And I'm just going to keep doing this. all the way down. I'm gonna push these up on my on my hook, my holding hook. Okay, I'm gonna just keep going. we do the spikes the wing when we make the wing we're gonna have to do something again stop on this one. This will be the last one until we until we get further on the sides. So now we're going to attach start attaching the wings. So you see where we were on this peg and we have these two loops that are right here that we replaced on after we attached the front legs. I can zoom in a little bit. Lift up these two loops onto your hook. Just those two or not a hook. If you only have one hook, just use a toothpick or pencil or something. Leave them on there and get your hook and get a wing. A wing so that's facing like this with these spots facing forward and then towards the wing. Go through the first set. It's the opaque ocean blue and it also has a spot on it. Go through all four loops. Take off the tying band. Um, Oh, um, put that aside for a second, and this hook that has that, um, those two loops, go back here and lift up the four loops that set that we attached, um, on, it's the leg, it's the leg set that you want to lift up. So you lift those up, so you have six loops. Four of them are for the leg, two of them are from the neck. So I'm going to go with my hook, and these, oh, here, let me, one second, I have, a loop came off, okay. Um, so I get these, this set, the four loops, on the first um, row on the wing. Go in here and lift up this holding band, slide it through there. And just replace it back onto that peg. Now you can quickly replace these four leg bands. Um, and yeah, sorry if I'm yelling. Uh, so four leg bands right there, and then these two that were on your hook from the neck. Um, sorry if there's a lot of noise in the background. We're gonna do the same thing here, pretty much. So I'm going in the second set of the front leg. These two these four sets, um, lifting them up with a um, hook or something, and then now going through my second set in the wing. This should be the, this set should be the glitter cobalt blue. Now lift up the two holding bands and pull them up. Yeah, grab the two holding bands 
I lost them. Oh, grab the two holding bands and pull them through and replace them onto that peg. Sorry if this part is super confusing. And then these four loops that are on your hook from the back of the leg, put them onto that peg. So that part is done. Now we're just gonna, the next part of the wing is easy. So I'm just gonna go with my hook into the next set, which should be the navy and glitter cobalt. And I'm gonna lift up the next holding band, pull it through and place it onto that peg. I'm gonna go through the next one, which is all navy, taking off the tying band, lift up the holding bands, pull them through and just replace them onto that peg. So there's your wing, it's attached. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. I know that was a bit hard, but once we get it over with, we'll be done with that. So getting my hook or toothpick or holding hook or pencil, whatever you're using, lift up those two and then go back in, lift up the four from the leg. And then with your hook, go into the to uh, the first set in the first row with the spots on it, the yellow spots. Then I'm gonna go into here, lift up the holding bands. Um, pull them through. Actually, I kind of went through this th the wrong bands. Go through them. Yeah, go through the two bands. Um, make it so your wing is like this and just go down through the f four sets or the four loops lift up the holding bands pull them through and put them on that peg now we can replace the four leg sets sorry if the wing got in the way um, and then you can replace this set from the neck now we're going to do the same thing, get your holding hook, lift up these four from the leg, go through the second set, go down into it, take off the tying band, lift up these um, two holding bands, Pull them through and put them back on the peg. Go through the third set, which is navy and the glitter cobalt. Take off the tying band, lift up the holding bands, pull them through and put them back on that peg. Now for the last set, which is all navy. Grabbing those holding bands, pulling them through, and then replacing them onto the peg. So you have your two wings attached, and you can also replace these four loops back onto the second peg. It's those armbands. Uh, so now, let me just check my prototype. Um, So we're going to get your back legs, we're going to attach them. So get one back leg so it looks like this, it's bending a certain way. This back thumb claw is facing away from the head and then the yellow spots are facing forward. Go through the first set which is the one on the side with the yellow spots, taking off the tying band. We're going to put it onto this peg which is... So if you go to this set with the back of the, or actually just go to the top, one, two, three, four, five, the fifth peg from the top, attach um, those four loops right there, and then go through the second set, take off the tying band, and attach those four loops on to the next peg. We're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. Make sure that your leg is facing like this. 
I'm going to zoom out a little bit more, um, go through um, go through the first set, take off the tying band, put it onto this peg, um, go through the second set, take off the tying band and put it onto the next peg. So we have pretty much everything is attached now. Um, and we can start looming. So going in these top corners, going into this corner, dig all the way down beneath all the bands and find the bottom two, loom them up and over onto that next peg. Next peg, go down under. Okay, I'm back. Um, sorry that I cut out. I didn't even mean for that to happen or anything. But what I'm just doing is I'm just going to continue looming as we um, would just do. Um, yeah, there's nothing else to attach right now. So what I'm going to do is loom. Make sure to dig it down and grab the bottom two bands every time so you don't grab the wrong bands. I'm going to stop when I get to that peg and do the same thing on the other side. Digging down, grabbing underneath all the bands and grabbing the bottom two, bringing them up. Same thing here. So we limbed up to there on both sides. Um, now we're going to attach a spike here. So you have this one spike. You just want to attach it onto this peg. I'm going to swivel it around so it's facing that way. I'm going to dig down, grab the top two, loom them up diagonally, dig down, grab the next two. And diagonally. Now I can lift it up, up off the peg and it's like on both of them. So now the rest is not as easy as that. So I'm going to um, dig down into this, under this peg, bring up the bottom two, go to the, um, so you have these on your hook, and then you go to, go to this um, peg, dig down, grab the bottom two, So now, all, um, so now there's four loops in your hook. If you want to slide a spike over onto them, um, put the bottom two loops onto the bottom um, opaque or the bottom ocean blue loops. Go onto this peg, and then the top two go onto that peg. And we're gonna do the same thing again. So dig down here, loom up these two. Dig down here, loom up these two. Grab the spike. Um, pull it onto all four bands. The bottom two bands go onto that peg, and the other two go here onto that peg. And if it's like twisted upside down, you can um, adjust it so that it is right side up again. Um, doing the same thing here again. So dig down, loom up, and make sh um, sure that you're super careful because they are diagonals. I mean, not diagonals, they are um, double loops. So sliding on the spike. And the bottom two go to this peg. Top two go to this peg. Make sure that you do it in that exact order or it won't turn out right. So now tying this off with two random colored bands. This is not the finished dragon. There's still another section of the tail left before we finish this video. And then we'll wire it. And in the next video, we'll make the belly and attach it and it'll be done. So I'm gonna very gently take this off because there are double loop bands in here. 
those horizontals, and the horizontals are holding together, or not horizontals, the holding bands. They're holding things together, so we don't want them to break. They're holding the wings on, they're holding the body together and everything. So just be very careful with them. So you can adjust it now. If all the spikes are sticking in different directions, just tug them upward. Um, just fix where they're facing and stuff like that. And you can adjust everything how you want it to look like. Um, so it's not finished. As I said, we do have another portion. Oh, I'm gonna... So here's a, some of it, she's looking good. Um, so next portion is the um, tail, it's the last, um, uh, so now, sorry, um, like my room looks weird, like this is sticking out and stuff, just ignore it, I'll tell you what to do. So with double looped ocean blue opaques going down seven times from the top or from the bottom and now right here it's a little weird so it's like two bands double looped I'll show you on the side but just do it right there um, so it's two bands put them on a peg around like that twist them bring them over like that so it's like a double looped but it's just with two bands you could also just get two bands and go like that and put it on the peg. Um, so just do that right there. Then taking three bands there, three bands there, and then two bands um, going forward right there, two diagonal, and then two there and two there. Hopefully that's not too confusing, it's pretty simple. So now we're gonna take our dragon, go into, so there's two loose ends at the tip of the tail or the, the stump. So going through one end, taking off the tying band, and I'm attaching it onto the peg that it lines up with. Going through the other set, and make sure that your dragon is right side up with the spikes facing upward and the legs facing down. Going through this next set, taking off the tying band, I'm going to put it onto this peg. Now I'm going to lift up the top two. Don't worry, it's not as complicated as like the front legs and wings and head area. It's a lot simpler. So lift up the top two from each peg and just take a double loop. Put it on those two pegs and then put a double loop um, onto those two. So now you can replace each set of two bands to the peg that you got them from, like that. Now we're going to be sliding on some more spikes, pretty much the same way as we did. Oh, shoot, made a big mistake, sorry. Um, so what I'm going to do is dig down in here with my hook lift up all the bands except for those bottom two and then with another hook or a toothpick or something go through the other side lift up everything except for those bottom two so i'm gonna take off these these so you just have two or, so you only go up to the third peg and now i'm just instead of those being double bands i just want them to be or double looped bands because I, the only mistake was that they were double instead of double looped. I'm super sorry for that. Good thing I noticed it. It, was a, it wasn't too late, but it almost was. And I'm just going to double loop a band on there. So, you have two hooks, or two things 
holding all those bands. One of them put all of those bands onto that peg, and then the, uh, on the, the one on the right, put all of those bands onto the right peg. Like that. So, it's like nothing happened. Uh, now we're going to be attaching some spikes. I'm just pulling them forward. Okay, uh, so I'm going to go into this peg, loom up, go into the next, loom up, and slide on the spike. Bottom two go to that peg, top two go to that peg. Um, now it's a bit different. I'm going to go into this peg instead this time, loom them up, go to this peg, loom them up, slide on the spike, and then all four loops go onto this peg, like that. And now we can slide the spikes on normally while we're looming. So go th dig down, grab the three bands, loom them up, and then just slide on the spike, and loom over, loom up, slide on, loom over, and I'll keep doing this. I missed a, a band in there. It's fine. Um, boom up. Now we're in the double loops, so be very careful. They could come off very easily. We don't have too many spikes left. And we're almost done with the tail. So loom up, slide on, and loom over. And slide it on, loom over, dig down, loom up, slide on. Loom over. You might have a few spikes left over, but don't worry about it. I'll have only one spike left over. It's fine. Um, so you loomed all the way. I'm gonna tie this off with your body color, and for Tamarin, it's the um, opaque ocean blue. Tie that off. Now I'm going to very gently take this off of the loom. Um, so, may look a bit weird because. Just adjust it. There may be some band sticking out there a little bit near the base of the tail. Um, ignore them. If you don't like them, just tug them inwards or like hide them in there. Something like that. It's not a big deal. So you have this loose band at the end. I'm just going to hide it in the tail. So going through the, some bands in the tail. Grabbing the band, pulling it through, going from the other side, and going in, grabbing the loose band, pulling it through, and now I'm going to go through this side, grab the loose band, pull it through, and now you can just like wrap it around once if it's not too loose. I'm going to take off this end spike. I don't think there needs to be one there. I needed to break it. Um, uh, 
Um, so these loose bands, if you want to hide them, I guess you could wrap them around the tail. Um, I'm going to see how that goes. Yeah, looks fine. I'll wrap this one around too. Um, so yeah, here's Tamarin. Um, yeah, so this is just the body. Go ahead and wire her. Um, only use 20 gauge wire. If you have a lighter wire, it might work. But I'm only using 20 gauge wire, nothing thicker. Um, I have a tutorial on how to wire your dragon, so you can go into my channel. Um, and... My channel should be below, or you're on my channel. I might link the video at the end of this. I might link the, I might have the video somewhere on the screen near the end. Uh, and you can go to the final part. Um, and after you're done wiring it, go to the final part, and we'll make the belly, attach it, and we'll be done with Tamarin. She's looking great. Thanks for watching. I hope yours is coming out um, just as good as mine. And, um, sorry for all the mistakes I made, but we got through it. We're at the end now. Thanks for watching. Bye. And please subscribe. Or, and I also am past 300, um, subscribers, so thank you very much for that. We're, um, we're, um, my channel is growing very fast, so... Thank you for that, and anyone who is new doing these, I hope this isn't too hard, um, but thanks for watching, bye.